Hi, it's Deanna, and I'm going to show you this uh, 1940s American teddy bear made out of mohair. And so today I was at my antique mall where I have a booth, and um, one of the dealers there named Bob, who's an elderly man, had this little teddy bear, and he said to me, uh, do you want this? I know you like teddy bears. And I said, how much? And he said, 15 bucks. And I thought about it and I'm like, I don't know. And then he said, you know what? I'll give it to you for $10 if you want it. And I said, for $10, what the heck? So I got this little American mohair teddy bear, possibly from the 1940s. And I believe it was made by the Knickerbocker Toy Company, who um, operated out of New York. And uh, he's so cute. He's a floppy bear. He's not jointed. And I believe he has little glass eyes. They're cold to the touch. That's generally how you can tell it's glass. He's got a little velvet nose and it's hard. Like it's like, um, like when you knock on it, you can hear it like it makes a thunking sound. And he has, he has a little silk, like little tongue and he's sticking his tongue out at us. And, uh, he, oh my goodness. He's just so adorable. And he was quite a bargain at $10. I mean, he's probably not worth a lot. These uh, type of bears aren't. The Stife antique ones are. And all the early, like late um, 1800s, early 1900 mohair bears. So that's where the money's at. But for 10 bucks, I was like, who cares? I have to have him. He's just too adorable for words. And that gentleman by the name of Bob at my antique store is a really nice old man. He's... Uh, He's like into military stuff. He's got a whole booth just filled with nothing but military type of stuff. He has from World War One, World War Two. He has German stuff, American GI stuff, French. He's got like every country known to man. He's got medals, uniforms. Um, he has bayonets. He has um, hats. He has uh, like uh, little pins that went on their uniforms. He has... Um, I even saw um, a couple of beautiful daggers. He's got Civil War stuff, too. He's even got Civil War era, um, like, musket guns. And, I mean, I could not believe they had Mother of Pearl handles. They were carved. Um, he's got some quite a few cool things, and I'm so glad I was able to get this from Bob. He's got the best boot there, hands down. I mean, that guy's got the greatest stuff. But, uh, so again, I got this little bear with his little tongue sticking out and possibly from the 1940s. And I'm going to show you the back. The back just cracks me up. So, um, he's got like a Peter Cottontail, like bunny rabbit type of little tail. And it's just so cute. He does have some wear associated with age, which doesn't bother me too much. He's missing mohair in a couple of spots. And you can see the original material that was underneath. But that's not a problem. I, I could live with it because he's just so adorable. Look at him. He flops around. He's a floppy little guy. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, check out my videos because I'll be uploading some more antique and vintage things soon.